살림들인 하마스 정권이 장악하고 있는 가자지구 그곳에서 신앙생활을 하다가 결국 도망 나왔다는 이 남자 그에겐 어떤 사연이 있는 것일까요? In uh, 1967, right after the war, so I decided to uh, go and join Arafat. I was trained as a fighter, a guerrilla war fighter. Then uh, I was trained as a sniper. And then eventually I, become, uh, an used, I was used as an assassin. To me, a good Jew is a dead Jew. Every Jew must be killed. But how God really works in our life, The day after I gave my heart to Jesus, the next morning, I woke up, and I can feel the presence of the Lord in my room. I mean, it was so strong. I feel it in my heart, and I started worshiping. And uh, as I was worshiping, I started praying and saying, Oh, God, bless your people, Israel. Oh, God, gather them back to the promised land. I heard myself saying that. Why am I praying for my enemy before my own people? And that amazed me. And then I began to, to study the Bible, and I stayed home. I didn't go anywhere. I didn't do anything for 45 days just reading the Bible. It was not easy for me to remember how many people I killed because I believed this one, this land was mine. It was not easy. I fought God. I wrestled with God so much. But as I was reading the Bible, I threw the Bible across the room. I said, you are not a just God. You are a hidden God. You are not. I mean, it was very difficult for me. But I had to come to the conclusion that God's word is God's word. And I have to accept it. I cannot pick and choose from God's word what I want to believe and what I don't want to believe. And then I understood, the land is not really mine. God gave it to the Jews from the word of God that we do have a right to the land as well, but not as Palestine, as Israel. And by me becoming a follower of Jesus, I have dishonored my, my family and their faith. There is a punishment for it, which is death. By, by cutting the head off if the person does not go back to Islam. My wife and I and came out from where we live to Gaza City. There is a store. As we came out to the, to the main road, and on this side, there is Hamas fighters. Hamas is always covering their faces. And so I'm looking at there. There was five or six of them. I can't, I can't remember, but it was. I started seeing their high, machine guns. And I kept going backward until I turned around and I ran away. And they came around and they started shooting at us, you know. But I don't see any marks on the car. Not one bullet touched our car. Now the window is not broken. We just went inside the house and we started worshiping and praising God. Even if, if there was a bounty on my head, uh, to die is a game. For me, I'm not worried. I know where I'm going, so why worry about it? I'll go and be with Jesus. Life and death is only in the hands of God. God says, it's time for you to come home, then we will die. He doesn't say that we won't die, so why worry about it? It's true, we might get beaten up a little bit here and a little bit there, so what? The apostles went through this and torture. Who are we not to? I've been beaten up many times. I had one time my spine broken, a hair away from being totally broken. In Gaza, we had 108 Muslim converts. They are always on the run, changing places because Hamas is hunting them down. They are having very hard time. Uh, they are scared to death. I would love to go to Gaza. I really do. I, out of responsibility for those uh, believers that live there, I would love to go back to bless these people that have suffered and that have saved their faith. I want to go to the village where I live to bring them help, bring them love.